Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 23rd question from CBSC Class 10 Examination, 2022-23, Section B, where each question is of two marks. Now, this question has an OR question as well, and it belongs to the Introduction to Trigonometry chapter. So, let us start with the first one. If sine theta plus cos theta is equal to square root of 3, then find the value of sine theta times cos theta. To begin with, let us square both the sides of the equal to sign. So we get, so sine theta plus cos theta the whole square is equal to square root 3 the whole square is equal to 3. Now when we square the square root, the square root disappears. So we are left with only 3. Now on the left hand side, we are going to apply an algebraic identity which is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now in this case, sin theta is a and cos theta is b. So applying this identity, we have expanded the bracket as sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 times sin theta times cos theta is equal to the right hand side which is 3. Now we have a trigonometric identity which says that sin square theta plus cos square theta will be equal to 1. So substituting the value of sin square theta plus cos square theta as 1, we simplify this equation as 1 plus 2 sin theta times cos theta is equal to 3. Now taking 1 on the other side of the equal to sin, we get 2 sin theta times cos theta is equal to 3 minus 1 and that gives us equal to 2. Next, taking this 2 on the other side of the equal to sin, we get sin theta times cos theta is equal to 2 over 2 and this divides each other giving us a value of 1. So here in this question, the value of sin theta times cos theta is going to be 1. Let us move on to the OR question now. If sin alpha is equal to 1 over root 2 and cot beta is equal to root 3, then find the value of cosec alpha plus cosec beta. Now sin alpha and cosec alpha are the reciprocal trigonometric ratios of each other. So we can write cosec alpha is equal to 1 over sin alpha. And since sin alpha is given as 1 over root 2, the reciprocal of 1 over root 2 becomes root 2. So cosec alpha is equal to root 2. So here we have got first part of this question that is cosec alpha is equal to root 2. Now let us focus on cosec beta. And there is a trigonometric identity that relates cosec beta with cot beta, which is 1 plus cot square beta is equal to cosec square beta. Since we have to find cosec beta, let us take the square on the other side of the equal to sign. So we have cosec beta is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square beta. And since the value of cot beta is given as root 3, we are going to substitute its value over here. So we have square root of 1 plus square of the square root 3. So this is going to simplify as square root of 1 plus 3. Since square of the square root, the square root disappears. We are left with only 3. So this is going to give us a value of square root of 4 because 1 plus 3 is 4 and square root of 4 we know that it is 2. So now we have the value of cosec alpha as root 2 and cosec beta as 2. Now let us combine these two values. So cosec alpha that is square root of 2 plus cosec beta is 2. So this is the value of cosec alpha plus cosec beta. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.